Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is kind of part of my jungle. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So today I am sitting up in the loft. I have all of my aeroids for the most part up here and I also have one of my Hoya cabinets up here and this is the Millsbow Wide. You guys saw me get this thing and fill it with Hoya and <laughs> it is full of Hoya, let me tell you. It's overly full and we're moving very, very soon and I genuinely just do not want to take all of these Hoya with me and I am doing a plant sale over on Plant Story Sunday the 18th at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So whatever I'm getting rid of in this purge today will be for sale on Sunday. So make sure that you download the Plant Story app. If you haven't yet, I'll leave it linked down below for you. And if you use my link, you get a $15 coupon. I'm going to be purging anything and everything that I have. I have pottery. I have trellises, different things like that that I need to get rid of and lots of plants. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys what this is looking like from my perspective here looking at it and then I am going to go through it one by one with you guys, show you each plant and whether or not I'm going to keep it. The same thing we did with my last cabinet, you guys really enjoyed that and realistically I don't know how many of these I'm going to be parting with <laughs> because I don't really realistically know what's in here so I'm going to try really hard to be as critical as possible and only keep the plants that I really really love so let's get into it okay so first just a quick little overview of what this looks like the lighting is not great up here I apologize for that but this cabinet I do plan on moving into our living room if it fits there and if it looks good there I'm not a hundred percent sure because I don't I can't measure anything right now but obviously it can't look like this <laughs> the shelves are so dirty too all packed like this in my living room I would like for it to look a little more uh you know neat and organized there's a lot of Hoya in here they're all in these plastic trays these trays fit about eight of these containers and that's approximately how many are in each one and I have four on the bottom shelf here I have four on the middle shelf here and then I've got some of the bigger ones up here so I don't know you do the math it's a lot <laughs> of Hoya and I certainly do not need to keep every single one of them even though I want to I don't need to so we're gonna we're gonna get this done all right, so hopefully I can remember all the names of these Hoya, or hopefully they're labeled at least, so I don't really know where to start. I've been like totally avoiding doing this because I don't actually want to get rid of any of my Hoya, but I know that I realistically need to, so let's see what's going on in this first tray here. First tray, there's eight plants in here, and this first one is Hoya Rangsan and I don't need this. It did just put out a new leaf. A lot of them are growing. It'll focus. This is a really common one. It's pretty easy to find. So if I wanted to replace it and get like a big basket of it, I totally could. I'm pretty sure I got this as a cutting. I think I got it from my friend, but I'm not 100% sure. I cannot remember. It is a beautiful, splashy, it's a fairly common one, even though this cutting is quite splashy. Um, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna keep this one because I can easily replace it with a much larger one in the future if I want to. Okay, is this the Baibua latifolia? It kind of looks like it. It might be, or it might just be a latifolia. I genuinely don't know. This is some sort of latifolia. This is a new leaf and it's working on more growth. This is not labeled. 
so I'm not 100% certain what this is, but I do know that I don't need it. I'm pretty sure it's some sort of latifolia dinner plate. Was this like a dinner plate cutting maybe? I don't know, but I don't, I'm not going to keep it. So <laughs> this one is verticillata, I think, maybe, potentially. It's a splashy one, uh, sometimes labeled as, what do they label this one as? I can't remember off the top of my head, but sometimes it's mislabeled or maybe Verticillata is mislabeling it. I genuinely don't know. I feel like this is, again, a really easy one to get my hands on if I ever wanted to get like a big plant of it. So I don't feel like I need it. And then this one I'm pretty sure is just a Carnosa like a plain green Carnosa, but honestly, Carnosas are one of my favorites. <laughs> and like, call me crazy, but I love just their simple green splashy leaves. I have so many Carnosa hybrids and so many Carnosa just like different from different growers and heirloom Carnosa that are like generations old and they all look different and I love them all, so I will be keeping this Carnosa green. I know, you guys probably think I'm nuts. I get rid of all the cute, <laughs> splashy ones, and I keep this green one, but I'm just, I'm a sucker for a Carnosa, so I am gonna keep that one. This next one is Hoya, I don't even know what that says. Scortichini? It literally looks like it says scordicini, tortellini. I don't know, but it's kind of cool. It's hard to tell that it's cool right now because uh, and there's a mealy. I knew I should have brought my uh, stuff up here to kill mealies while we did this. I think I have a paper towel roll at least. Oh yeah, it's literally right next to me. So we can at least wipe it away. So this one kind of has like this ab pattern going on it and it does get this like little splashiness. To the leaves um i'm not sure why this new leaf came in so elongated and weird oh there's another one underneath those mealies really love a new leaf i'm gonna spray all these with like my urban gardener say no to bug spray as well and then i've been using my growth elixir as well you guys know how much i love my urban gardener growth elixir i don't think i have it up here i don't have any of the sprays up here right now i need to get some more but it's been making all my Hoya grow. There's tons of growth going on in this cabinet. So just because this is such a weird one that I don't really see, I will be keeping it, at least for now. We'll see. Okay, next, this one looks so sad and thirsty that I honestly don't even know what to do with it. Joy Splash. She always just kind of looks really sad and wrinkly. So she probably doesn't have great roots um, and I have no interest in keeping her and I don't think that anybody else is going to want her even for free because she's looking pretty beat. She's nothing wrong with her technically. She just doesn't look very good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not going to be keeping that one. This is the Hoya Biakensis and I do like this one. I like the shape of the leaves. They're kind of like round and cute. And I think I will keep this one. This one definitely I've struggled with in the past. I had the more like silvery one before. So I figured I'd try again with the green one and see how it goes. And it seems to be going pretty well. Minus the mealybugs being annoying. I'm just gonna give this little dead part a trim there. I'm kind of tempted to cut but it looks like it's still actively growing right here. This is a new leaf, so I'm gonna leave it even though it's kind of wonky and <laughs> just like sticking out. I'm gonna let it keep on growing before I cut it, but Hoya Biakensis. I don't know if you can see my writing in this light, but she's cute. She's got like a coin shape to her and I definitely like that, so I'm gonna keep that. And this one I love. And there's no way I would get rid of it. I'm pretty sure this is a Hoya species Parak. I'm not sure if it's teddy bear, but it's definitely in that family. It came to me with no ID, but I'm almost positive that that's what this is. And I absolutely love it. You can't see the splash as much on these older leaves, but this one, 
stunning and I love it so definitely keeping that so okay not bad we got rid of half of that tray so I'd say that's a pretty that's a pretty decent start okay tray number two. Oh my gosh this one's growing up over here hold on I don't want to hurt it no and it's got leaves you got yourself stuck in there I'm gonna have to cut you what plant is that even? Hoya filiformis decided that it wanted to grow up through the little crack into the next shelf, so I cannot actually get it out. I'm gonna have to wait until, cause I don't wanna break it. It's a new growth plant and it's got new leaves coming up on the other side. So I'm gonna have to wait until I clear off the shelf and I can have David take it out and then I can remove the plant properly without hurting it. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, so I guess I'm keeping that one. Oh my gosh, I've had this one for forever and it never grows. It finally gave me this stupid wonky leaf. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Hoya Isensis. I'm not exactly sure. It's a very like thick Hoya. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe I need a maybe pile. Like, I don't need it, but I've just, I don't know, I've been growing it for so long that I'm attached to it. I'm going to make a maybe pile. That's the, the best I can do for right now. This one I'm definitely going to keep. This is the Hoya AH074. Um, there was another word, another name people were giving to it, but otherwise, <laughs> Hoya AH074. Um, definitely going to keep that. I think this is a Joy Splash Cutting or Michelle. Hoya Michelle. Uh, I'm not sure if I have a mother plant to this or not, so I'm just going to hold on to it for now because I'm not 100% positive if that's the only one that I have or not. Um, and then we have Hoya Velosa, one of my favorites. Very veiny, very kind of like fuzzy. So definitely going to be keeping that. These all need to be cleaned and treated okay and this one looks so nasty clem clemenciorum so this is a cutting of hoya clem and i think it's doing pretty good so it's going to need to be oh it's in soil that's why it looks terrible i'm like oh this moss is really really dark <laughs> that's because it's soil um in this little cup so Definitely keeping that. That's one of my favorites. And then this guy, you can see what lack of airflow will do. You'll kind of get this like little nasty shit growing on your plants. So I need to clean that and make sure I'm coming up here and opening this up. It wipes right off. It's like not a big deal, but it just looks nasty. This is Hoya MB1247. And to be honest, I've never been all that enamored with it. So... I don't feel like the need to keep it. I, I mean, I am going to keep the toner out trellis, but I don't think I need to keep the plant. So I will just clean her up and uh, get her ready to be sold to somebody who wants her on the cheap. Okay, so at least keeping like some of them in this bin and that filiformis that is growing really beautifully actually. I wasn't planning on keeping it, but now that I see how it's growing, I actually kind of like it. So slide that back in there for now. And the next tray, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> We've got another eight, I think, Hoya in this tray. And I can already tell you that these are some that I really like. I have a couple of different Callistophylla varieties. This one finally gave me a new leaf. This one's from Indonesia, but it's like bigger and the veining is different than my other Callistophylla. So I held one back. I imported a bunch of them. I held one back because it does look different and there are tons of different Callistophylla subspecies. So I do have a thing for kind of collecting all of them. And you can tell this one was an import. It looks like it was plucked off of a tree. <laughs> They're always kind of a little wonky and like somebody got hungry and ate this leaf it looks like. But finally we have a new one. And there was only one mealybug, which is nice. 
and I'm definitely gonna keep this because it's Callista Phyla, which was like my gateway Hoya into collecting Hoya. Regular Callista Phyla that I got, I think this might be off of my original mother plant that I've had for years. So definitely keeping that. Okay, what are you? Motoski, oh my goodness, Hoya Motoski. This leaf came out kind of wonky. Ugh, I don't know if I have any, this is like just a random piece of it. I imported this one. They actually call this one like the true Carnosa, which is really interesting. But I mean, this doesn't really look very good. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. It's just like one little sad leaf. Um, maybe if I cut it, it'll like encourage some growth. I don't know can't hurt to try so I guess I'll put this in the maybe pile and we'll see how it goes. Hoya parviflora one of my personal favorites definitely gonna keep this um, I think I still have like two of these available for sale that are smaller than this but this is what it will grow into and I keep trying to tell people that and they're like they still don't want to buy them I'm like but it's so pretty look at these pointy leaves they're super splashy I've got some new growth on here I imported this one a few years back and I love it this is the Hoya Potsii splash which I also love and will definitely be keeping I've got a whole new growth point right here this whole thing is brand new so this is the Hoya Dr. Ebok or I-B-O-K. I'm not sure <laughs> how you're supposed to say it, but it is a hybrid. I don't know what it's a hybrid of. I grew this one from a cutting and it finally gave me a new leaf. It's not a very exciting Hoya. I'm pretty sure it's a Susan Swartz, whatever her name is. It's a Cocoa Ranch hybrid, I think. I have to look. If it is, I'll probably keep it. So I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. The I'm not sure yet pile, if I wanna keep this plant or not. And then, is this another Carnosa? Hoya Carnosa Stardust. So yeah, this is a different Carnosa variety. This part of the stem has gone totally woody. So I am gonna just clip it off and eventually probably propagate it, but it looks like it's got a new growth point coming right here. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, it does. Has a new little growth point from, from right there. So um, I'm gonna keep this one. I imported this one a while back as well. And she's just looking a little wonky right now. So hopefully she makes the move okay. And uh, we'll propagate her eventually when she's ready, when she's done given new growth. This one actually looks relatively new as well. You can tell by the color of the petiole is more like maroon as opposed to the other ones that are more woody because they've aged. And it looks like it wants to like keep growing from right here. It's kind of hard to tell, but the same thing happened here. It looks like there was a leaf that fell off, but it's still working on like another one right next yeah. to it. Hoya Carnosa Stardust. It's just a pretty splashy Carnosa, slightly different leaf shape, a little more veiny. Very, very cute. Okay, and then this one I've also had for quite some time. I think I imported it. And it is the Hoya, oh my gosh, did I not label you either? I think this is Quin Quinervia, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it's Marillii. I think it's Quin Quinervia. And it's just got this crazy long tendril that drives me nuts. But it's healthy, so I can't cut it. And this one will sun stress and get pretty red in there. And it, it has the potential to be very pretty. Um, I just don't know if this is actually the one that I think it is or not. This one might be a Marillii. Why don't I label these? I'm always like, I'll remember what it is, and then I don't. So that one, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not, to be completely honest with you. So I'm gonna also put that in the maybe pile. I'm gonna put these five back that I'm going to keep. All right, last tray that's in here on the bottom shelf. Another almost full 
tray here. This is the Hoya Natalie. Really nice, kind of just plain, not super exciting. We've got one little woody section right here, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I'll probably sell this one. I don't feel like I need it, and I feel like it's one that's like easy to replace. I will be doing my best, obviously, to thoroughly check all of these and spray them and clean them and make sure that there's no mealybugs on them, but obviously, if you buy any of them and you get them home, you're going to want to do that too. Make sure you inspect them, treat them, quarantine them, repot them, do whatever you need to do to make sure. So I do that regularly with all of them, but <laughs> they always come back somehow. So Hoya Natalie, I like her little pointy leaves, but I don't need her. She's not super exciting, so I will sell her. Okay, this one I do love. This is Hoya Dekie, and she's got these really weird shaped leaves that are kind of like, got like this little heart or like a fishtail vibe going on. They can get fairly splashy and veiny, and we do have some new growth here, which is exciting, and I'll definitely be keeping this one, Hoya Dekie. And then what are you? Hoya pubic calyx Riva. So this is a pubic calyx variety. She's got some really nice splash on her. And I don't know, I have a thing also with collecting pubic calyx varieties. I'm not exactly sure why, because they kind of all look the same. I'm not sure. Like I, I definitely don't need it. I've just grown it from a cutting and She's going in the maybe pile. Okay, so this one's been in the One Leaf Club since I bought it, but it looks like it's finally doing something here, which is nice. This is new green growth, and this is the Hoya AH032. AH is just the initials of the person who crossed the plant, so I'm not sure exactly what the mother plants are on this Hoya, but it's big and it's veiny. It came to me with this leaf damage, but like I said, I've grown it from this one leaf and now it's finally growing. Even though these, the mealies just always go right for the new, the new growth, the new leaves. They love it because it's juicy. I'm just gonna wipe that real quick and uh, she looks good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep her because I like a, I like a veiny weird Hoya. Okay. This one also looks veiny, but I don't know what it is. Hoya species. Oh my gosh. BML 5655 or IML 1398. Girl, that is a mouthful. She's got like hard water stains and stuff on her. I've had her in the one leaf club for a while now too, but she's looking like she wants to put out some new growth. This is a pretty splashy, not splashy, um, veiny one it just has a lot of hard water stains on it right now so i probably will keep her and um try to grow her out because it's not one that i commonly come by i have another hoya clemenciorum here one of my favorites like i said so i'll definitely be keeping this one and i'm just going to check it make sure there's no mealybugs hiding underneath these leaves or in these little crevices they like to hide between the petiole and the stem but yes I am going to keep the clemenciorum and this one is the Hoya um incrusata moon shadow the inner variegated one and I do like this one I wish that it would grow faster because I think this one would be really pretty as like a Hoya oh it is growing it's got growth points down here two actually there's one right here and one right here so I'll probably keep this one because I do love the variegation on this one I imported it a while back and Hoya imports are just a pain in the butt this is a newer leaf but otherwise or no this one is this is a newer leaf hence the mealybug on it girl can't catch a break it's the Hoya sirens the Hoya police are coming for me with all these mealies. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Hoya Incrustata Moon Shadow, really pretty with the inner variegation. 
it's got some new growth going on down here so I'm definitely gonna keep it I'm definitely gonna keep spraying these with my super growth elixir because they are popping off like it's definitely working so I am gonna keep that one um, I didn't do a good job on this tray because I actually really like these ones <laughs> a lot so but it's okay as long as we're downsizing a little bit that is what matters this one's really cute I'm definitely gonna keep this one this is the Hoya AH176 it's got these little splashy leaves she's starting to trail she's really cute and I like her I'm gonna keep her for now anyway <laughs> I like this pot I'm pretty sure David got this for me a while back if not then my mom did but somebody did and it's cute and I love it so it looks really cute with a trailing plant in it as well so that is everything on the bottom shelf and I did a pretty good job like cutting that in half so let's move on to the second shelf we've got a pretty full tray here let's see what is inside Hoya I think this is just a Finlay Sony eye that I got from Derek and I actually don't really have Finlay Sony eye I think this is my only one so I will be keeping it and then this one is called Hoya ghost fairy and I honestly just like it on account of the name so I'm probably gonna keep it <laughs> Even though it's not really like the most exciting Hoya in the world, it's a hybrid of sorts. Um, and it just, it's called Ghost Fairy. And I like it. So, this one, Hoya Kochang Island. Let me tell you, if you're new here, this was a Hoya that I got from a seller that sold me mostly unrooted or rotting Hoya. And this was the one that kind of broke the camel's back when I got it. The leaves were wrinkly, flimsy, like I could literally fold them in half and they were horrible. It took me so long to reroot this plant and then to be able to finally pot it up and it looks like it wants to grow. It's like working on some active growth down deep down in there. So I've been through hell with this plant and I've wanted this one for quite some time. This is all that I was able to salvage from a lot of the plants I got from that seller. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one just because I honestly never thought that it was going to make it. And it did and I would kind of feel bad getting rid of it now and it's a beautiful Hoya. Um, it gets pretty splashy if you guys didn't notice. I really like splashy veiny Hoya, weird shaped Hoya, things like that. So I feel like this one kind of falls into the weird shaped category. I'm pretty sure this is just an obovata, but the leaves on it are very round and it has a peduncle. So that's pretty much the only reason why I have this one. I have other obovatas, but I was hoping that this one would bloom for me eventually. So should I keep it? I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. This one is another veiny babe. I think it's Vitellinoides, if I'm not mistaken. And I mean, it's beautiful. I think I might have more than one of these. The leaves can get fairly big and fairly veiny. And um, I dig it. I like this one. So I have a couple actually of Italianoides, but they all like look a little bit different. So there's this one. And then there's this one. So I don't know, maybe it's Jennifer and not Italianoides because these leaves are much pointier. I don't know. I'm going to hang on to it just until I can at least ID it properly or like until my brain remembers what it is or I can go back into um, old pictures and stuff and see where I got it and what it is. <laughs> but this is a Vitellinoides and like it looks similar I guess but I don't think that the tips look the same. They don't taper off into a point the way that these ones do. They do look slightly different. So um, I am going to hang on to that. I'm going to hang on to this too. This one's just in its own little pot off to the side. It's got a couple of new growth points here. 
and I like it. Ooh, okay. Next, we have Hoya Pubic Helix Pink Silver, another pubic helix variety. I guess the silver on this one, if you give it bright light, will turn pink. Um, I don't need it. It's cute. It's splashy, but I don't think that I need it. I think what I'm going to do with these pubic helix varieties is wait and see how much I get rid of and see how much space I have and then decide if collecting pubic helix varieties is something that I even have the space for. So I'm going to put these in the maybe pile for right now. Hoya Skinneriana. Right. Oh, this guy put out a whole, a whole thing. And this one I think is interesting because it doesn't have like any veins at all. It's just like green and kind of just like flat. We've got some new growth. <laughs> I don't feel like I need to keep this one. We got rid of a good amount of them. This is the Hoya Trubiana. And this one I'm definitely gonna keep. This is a newer one. It gets these like really long, kind of weird looking leaves and I'm into it. This stem here went pretty woody and gross, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Did I just break it? Oh no, it was just being held up by, oh no, I think I broke it. I did, I totally broke off this leaf. Whoopsie. <laughs> Let's get one less, one less leaf to move. Um, I got this one from the plant farm when I ordered from them last and I like it. It's weird, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Okay, tray number two has some really exciting stuff in it. Can you see these? Wow. Okay. Whew. I'm definitely going to have a hard time getting rid of any of these. This little dude, I think, is chicken farm. I don't know, but it's got a new leaf right there, and um, it's, pretty, it's pretty cute, so... I'm going to want to hang on to it and grow it out. This is the Hoya Viola. Viola. It's got some new growth. I think that I will get rid of this one. This one I love. This is Hoya Larissa. She's a newer one to my collection. But she's got this beautiful, splashy, veiny leaves. And I absolutely love her. We have a little woody stem over here. I just like to get rid of them when they go woody like that for aesthetic purposes. You don't want to do that when the stem is still green if you want like growth to come off of it. So I'm just going to get rid of some of those dead stems and um, this is Hoya Larissa and I am 100% keeping her because she's gorgeous. I got her off a of plant story recently. This one I love as well. This is Hoya Tangamus. Sangamus. I'm not sure, but she's growing and I love it. Look at these leaves. <laughs> big, veiny. Are you seeing a theme? Love a big, long, veiny leaf. That's for sure. And I can't wait to see the new growth on this one. It's working on a couple little baby leaves and such. So definitely keeping that one. And then another one that I love is this Hoya Weyliniana. I was selling these, but I kept one for myself, obviously. <laughs> and she's a little cutie. She'll get sun stress, but she's got these cute little baby splashy leaves. And you bet I am, I'm keeping this one. So this leaf came in kind of big, actually. It's not little at all. Okay, next we have Hoya Kanya Kumariana, and this is what I'm like determined to get into a trailing plant. It's just been a little bit more challenging. I think this one was imported if I'm not mistaken, or this is one that I had to rehab for some reason. So it's been in moss for quite some time, but you can see she's got some pretty good roots. So after I move, I will be doing like a ton of repotting, and this is one that I will definitely be repotting. It's just these cute little ruffly leaves and they're more like matte. They don't really uh, reflect the light as much as the endowensis. This is one that people get kind of confused, but this one's a little bit more glossy. This one's a little bit more like felted. So this one I'm definitely keeping as well. Look at the new growth on her. She's going crazy and I love it. These two 
tendrils are really growing and this is one that I absolutely love as well. I love the ruffly leaves on it and I can't wait for her to be a beautiful trailing Hoya. So obviously I'm keeping that one and then I'm pretty sure this is just another Carnosa. I'm not sure what kind but it's really splashy and it's really cute and I really like it. So I'll be keeping it. <laughs> like I said, I'm doing a bad job with this bin because this has some of my favorites in it. All right, so next tray, we have Hoya Russell. <laughs> this is a Cocoa Ranch hybrid. Um, is it like the most exciting Hoya in the world? No, I just like the name and I like Cocoa Ranch hybrids. And I do like the veining on this one. It's kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but it does have just like really subtle veins going down the sides. And I like it. I'm probably going to keep it. This is Hoya species Sulawesi, um, also known as GPS 8867. And this one gets pretty big. So it's got this new leaf out here. And I'm definitely going to keep this one as well because it does get pretty big. And that's the reason why I bought it. And I'm excited to continue growing it and hoping that it gets real big for me. Just cleaning it up a little bit. David brought me my alcohol spray and some cat and swabs. I don't know why I say it like that. I get, do you guys get bored? I get bored of saying the same thing over and over like the same way so I just start saying it in really dumb ways or with like different accents that I'm not ever even positive what they are so I probably sound really stupid but I don't care so Hoya Sulawesi or species you know what I don't know it's pretty and I like it um so I'm gonna keep it this is just the regular pot CI. No, tequila sunrise. Okay, so here's the thing. I have two tequila sunrises and they look different. So I, I have to keep them both because I need to know if they're even the same plant. Just getting rid of that. There's a new leaf coming out at the top up here and another one coming out down here. So I'm definitely keeping this one. I'm just kind of like spraying them all down at this point with some alcohol -y. This is diluted alcohol, 70%. Hoya Water Drop, EPC something or other. Another little veiny babe that I love. So I'm um, going to keep it. Boop. And uh, hopefully that will encourage some, some growth. You, I didn't label apparently. Potsy eye. I want to say this is Potsy eye, maybe, right? Because I have the splash. Yeah, it's the same. Just green. So I don't need it. It can go to a new home. This is the Hoya Lacanosa um, Royal Flush, I'm pretty sure. Super silvery, and I love it because it's really silvery and splashy. It's got pedonks, so hopefully it'll do the bloomy, bloomy thing for me. And I love it. So I'm keeping it. This is one that's kind of a pain in the butt. It's a Hoya Erythrina GPS or EPC. I don't, I'm not gonna bother you guys with that. Um, it's pretty veiny. It's also pretty thin. Um, it does get these spots from like the lights on it. And I like it. It's just, like I said, it's kind of a pain in the butt to grow. It doesn't want to grow. I just, I wanted it for so long. <laughs> so it's like, now that I have it, I don't know if I actually want it. So I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. Okay. Hoya Neo Caledonia. So I assume this comes from New Caledonia, where my geckos are from, which makes me want to put it in my gecko enclosures, actually those flashy leaves and uh, I don't know maybe it's one that I do put in there just because of the name we'll see okay so you know we didn't do great on that one but we tried now finally the last of the plastic trays here and the last of the plants on this second shelf 
not too many in here. This is another type of pubic helix. Maybe. It's not labeled. Um, oh, I think it's just a carnosa or a pubic helix, and I probably have it on the counter, this peduncle here. I don't know. I'll put it in the maybe pile next to the obovado with the peduncle. Okay, this is the Hoya Michelle um, mother plant that I wasn't sure that I had, so I can get rid of this cutting, rooted cutting. This is what she has the potential to look like, this little piece doesn't have a ton of splash on her but she definitely has the potential so I will be keeping these butt cut and then this is one that's been on the struggle bus but is finally putting out some new growth this is Hoya balanensis I get some like pretty big leaves these ones are not super healthy this is from Equigenera but it's got a growth point right here and it's got this growth point here that's working on some new leaves. So I'm confident that this is gonna be okay and that it's, you know, gonna bounce back and we can get rid of these old ugly leaves off of it. So I will be keeping that one. Um, oh, Hoya Debbie. Look at that little sad little baby right there. I don't know if I have any others of this but I don't necessarily need it this is a cocoa ranch hybrid she's just a little baby um, she's rooted but that's the part can come off it's got nothing nothing to it she's just a little leaf that we don't need I have more Hoya um it's a type of calistophylla calistophylla it's a cala calamont tan or something like that it's just like a longer darker leaf compared to these ones this is the Indonesian Callistophylla and then this is the regular Callistophylla or like the one that I feel like you expect it to look like when you think of Callistophylla this is like just like a regular regular one so this one is just a little bit different and I have to separate ones here in moss that have been in moss for a while and they definitely need to be potted up together, repotted in general, and um, given some more love. The love that they need. Really beautiful. Um, this one's got a new leaf that it's working on. <laughs> Coming in kind of funny looking. But these are beautiful and I love them. So anything Callistophylla is staying. This is the Hoya Mac Gregorii Mac. I'll just show you the tag. I don't know why I'm not showing you the tags. Mac Gregorii. I don't know. He's a weirdo. He's got these like long, kind of funky leaves, and I like it. So I'm gonna keep and it. Otherwise, she's looking pretty good. I don't think it's giving me any new growth. It's got like this tendril that's looking pretty fresh. Well, this one that's not. Get rid of these ugly brown ones because they're not going to give us any growth anyway, and they just aesthetically kind of ruin the plant. So you want to make sure you're not cutting off fresh vines, healthy vines, growing vines, or peduncles. So only grow, only cut what is brown and woody and dead. So definitely keeping that one. This is the Hoya, I think this is also a Paroc. Yeah, Paroc Malaysia. So I have this other one here. I don't know if you can kind of tell. Mm, no, they don't really look similar at all. But it does have like similar variegation, that like green on green kind of variegation. This one's just more veiny. They are very similar, but on camera they don't look similar at all. <laughs> but I swear they are. So I feel like they are related and that is why I think that that one is some sort of species. Parak, this one's from Malaysia, and um, I love it. I think I got this one also from Equigenera, so it's putting out some new growth for me finally here and here, and otherwise it's doing really well. Oh, there's even more growth down here, so I don't see any mealybugs or anything on here, but I'm gonna give it a good spritz. Anyway, um, I have Hoya Kai. Ko ye, cow ye, I don't know, but that is this big leaf one here. 
it looks like potsy eye, like oversized potsy eye in my opinion and I really like it which is why I don't feel like I need to keep the regular potsy eye this is Hoya Genevieve over here she is super cute and I'm gonna be keeping her for now and then I'm pretty sure this one is Quinquinervia which you can see how red it can get. I'm not sure if that's what that one is over there or not, but they are pretty similar, so I don't know if I'll be keeping that other one. You can see how nice and sun stressed. This one can get, look at those roots. The water is nasty, don't judge me. That is nasty water, I am aware. And I definitely need to take these out and repot them. I think I rooted, I rooted both ends of this plant because I didn't actually know which end was which <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have to cut it here and just pot up like the two leaves but yeah these are all from Lighthouse Hoya as you can see and I really like them these come up from Instagram they do sales on Instagram and I have this Hoya Nova Ghost this is a reverted Argentia princess oh and it's peeing on me I did just water these recently so I've got new growth on this one she's super duper silvery absolutely love it obviously keeping it this is the Hoya Fua Fua Uaensis that I had that I ordered I kept one for myself some of the moss is regrowing but I love this one because it's splashy and gorgeous so obviously I needed one to keep for myself I don't have any more of these available this is my Hoya RHP times fungi. So this is a pubicalyx fungi hybrid. She had some issues a while back, so she kind of yellowed these leaves, but they haven't fallen off, which I think is really weird. But she's in bloom. Isn't that beautiful? She's absolutely gorgeous. So you can definitely see like the fungi in there and that like darker pink. You get that darker. Um, I think the middle is called the Corona, that darker pink in there. It's kind of fuzzy, like the Royal Hawaiian Purple. Such a cute bloom, such a great plant. I need to take some pictures of this before um, it's gone. I noticed it the other day. It kind of looks like a Carnosa, but bigger and darker pink and like fuzzier. It's just, it's gorgeous. So obviously I have to show you guys and obviously I'm keeping it because look at her. She's stunning. I saw this bloom just like sitting face down on the shelf and I'm like, girl, what is happening? But she's, she's a happy camper. This so. is another one that I imported a while back and it's been living in perlite for way too long. Girl, like way too long. What happened to this leaf? Anyway, this is the Hoya Mirabilis. She's got these very long pointy leaves. They get sun stressed, kind of like purpley, maroony color. And uh, she has been in this perlite for way too long. Let me tell you, she needs to come out. It's so nasty in there. <laughs> I don't even want to know. Oh, it's so gross. Is that moss actually? And then perlite on the top. Oh man, this is going to be a nightmare. Anyway, we definitely need to repot her. I'm definitely keeping her she I've had for a long time and uh, she's a trooper. We've been through quite a bit together <laughs> and I just really like her pointy leaves. So I will be keeping her and trying to grow her out as like a trailing plant. Probably cut her back and uh, make her look a little bit cuter, but that's not what we're doing today. We're just purging today. We will definitely do more chores soon, probably not until after the move. So this one I bought as a no ID. She sun stresses this like maroon color. I have a couple of photos of ones that I think look similar to her online, but I have not ever really been able to properly ID this Hoya. So I'm gonna keep her. She's really cute. I just don't know what she is. Okay, this is the Hoya Carnosa Freckles. I've taken a ton of cuttings off of her, so she's only got two leaves, but she's very healthy and well-rooted, so it's only a matter of time before we get some new growth on her. I'm just gonna cut off some of this more like woody, so it's just like a shooting everywhere. Um, so it's just like a splashy kind of carnosa, which you guys know 
that I like. This I think is Pachycleida or Subquintuplinervis. Yeah, Hoya Pachycleida. Honestly, I have a love-hate relationship with this thing and I don't think I'm interested in keeping her. So I am going to actually get rid of that one, surprisingly, surprising myself with that. And then I think this is another Vitellinoides. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think this is like the butt cut to one of these other ones over here that I have. She hasn't really grown for me in a while. I definitely need to treat everything for flat mites. I saw somebody say that they had success with diatomaceous earth, so I might try that, but I'm not going to be doing that right now. If you ever bought a Vitellinoides from me, it probably came from this plant. So I don't know. I feel like this is one of those ones that's good to have because I always love a big Danny Hoya and I know you guys do too. So I don't mind having like multiple mother plants of that one. Um, and I, I think that's it. We covered everything in the Hoya cabinet. So I actually think I did a pretty decent job here of clearing out and getting rid of some of the ones that are just not really doing it for me anymore. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, at least twelve for sure that I'm getting rid of and then another like eight to ten that are in the maybe pile. So that's better than I thought I was going to do to be honest with you. So I'm not mad about it. I mean, hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I'm going to, um, I'll just show you now real quick how much emptier it's looking in here. Kind of, sort of. It's definitely still a mess. I am aware of that. I'm definitely going to need to still take everything out wipe everything down. All of these Hoya are going to go in bins while they travel to the new place and I'm going to set up this cabinet completely different than this. My Rudsta that's in the bedroom will probably end up being the one that's a little bit more jam-packed into the plant room and the Millsbow wide here will probably end up in the living room as more of like just a display piece for some of my favorite Hoya and um stuff like that so i'm excited to be like moving and decorating and reorganizing you guys are gonna have so many videos setting up the plant room and just like decorating the space and where i end up putting all my plants and things like that so i'm really excited to show you guys all of that so hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know if you saw anything today that you added to your wish list, anything you got excited about, are there any Hoya in here that you're wanting to get for yourself? I have so many. And I think we're doing a pretty decent job really narrowing it down to the ones that I really, really love and not just blindly collecting for the sake of collecting because I definitely did that for a while. I was like, well, I don't have it, so I need it. And I don't really have that mentality so much anymore. I'm really just trying to keep it down to the ones that I love and the ones that really make me happy and bring me joy and I like growing and looking at. So <laughs> that is it for this video, you guys. It's probably going to be a long one, but I hope that you enjoyed um, watching this process. Like I said, it's a work in progress. We still need to clean everything thoroughly. It's going to be a lot, but this is a good starting place and you should definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of that stuff. I'm going to keep it short. Make sure you download the Plant Story app so you don't miss my sale on Sunday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time if you're wanting to buy any of these plants, any of the plants that I've shown you recently that I've been propagating and uh, purging and all of that stuff. So come and hang out. Come say hi. And I love you guys. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. If you watched this whole entire video, leave me... Uh, I don't know. Leave me... <laughs> I can't think of any, babe. Give me an emoji. Uh, uh, he can't think of one either. Pie. pie. I like pie. David likes pie. I leave, like apple pie. 
leave pie emojis. We do really like apple pie. <laughs> leave us apples and pie emojis if you watched this whole entire video. And I love you guys so, so very much. Like I said, I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.